Welcome to All Things Woman, where I discuss womanhood, femininity, and overall life advice. If any of that interests you, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I bring out a new video. So today I'm going to be discussing feminine appearance. The way you carry yourself as a feminine woman and the way you present in the world matters. As a feminine woman, there is no such thing as we don't have time to get ourselves together. We just roll out of the bed and go about our business. As feminine women, we do not present that way. We care about how we look, which means we take time to get our hair together. We wipe the crust out of our eyes, had add a little mascara or a little bit of concealer so that you don't look so sleepy. Um, or if you naturally are blessed to just look like you are flawless, maintain your skin. You wake up in the morning and you still, even if your skin is perfect, you still can have crust in your eyes. Make sure you wipe it out. Make sure you do your hair, run a comb or a brush through your hair. Put on your nicest piece you have and go about your way. But as feminine women, we make time to keep up our appearance. I've noticed, and I don't know if you all have noticed this, but people respond to me differently when I'm wearing soft attire opposed to when I'm wearing hard attire. What do I mean by soft attire and hard attire? When I'm out wearing jeans and a hoodie, people are still kind to me, but I notice that they don't treat me with that sort of like gentleness, like people aren't running up to open the door for me or do different things like that, opposed to when I wear my dresses, people, man and woman alike, will say, oh, I got the door for you. Oh, here you go, hon. And they start using little pet names with you when you are more dressed like a woman, when you're more in your feminine, when you are more dainty and present yourself as more elegant and more uh, genteel. That's when people tend to treat you more with, as they say, kid gloves. I noticed that. So that's why I tend to wear things that are more on the feminine side. And when I say things on the feminine side, I'm not just talking about the color scheme. You don't have to constantly be wearing pink in order for you to be presented as a feminine or dainty woman. What I have on right now is black and gray. However, it's a sweater dress and it accentuates my shape and it has this cute zipper, which is a nice touch to me. It's more of a chic looking uh, feminine piece. So where I am still presenting, not like a little girl, but still as a feminine woman, you have to know how to wear your clothes in a way that makes you look soft and elegant for your brand of femininity. Every woman does not present her femininity in the same way. Some of us lean on the girly side and some of us lean on the queen type of a uh, princess type of woman, which is where I tend to lean on. I am very assertive in my way and I have more so of a queen mentality. I don't look down on anyone, but I am so assured of myself and confident in myself. I present in that way. So when I come off, it's like I'm presenting as if I am, I'm just going to say it because I don't care how it comes off and you shouldn't either. I present as if I am a queen because I am a queen of my kingdom, which is my household and the circle around me. So, and as feminine women, you have to be okay presenting that way too. If you're a wife, if you're a mother, if you're a single person living your life to the best of your ability, you are the queen of your kingdom. God reigns. I have to reiterate that because I'm not saying we're sovereign, but I'm saying that as women, as feminine women, we have to have so much confidence about ourselves that we look at ourselves as queens. But I digress. Back to the feminine appearance. When you go out, the way you present, the way you carry yourself, the way your hair is done, if your nails are done. This, for the past few weeks, I've been taking a break from acrylic nails because they've been messing up my real nail. And I don't feel like sitting in anybody's nail shop for two hours at a time. And I don't feel like spending the 60 something dollars for nails that are just going to grow off and break out and all that. I'm not doing it. So I took my time and I filed my own nails. I got me some good OPI polish, which I absolutely love. And I did my own nails. And I take joy in doing that because it keeps me in contact with my feminine side. Um, I'm going to do a pedicure on my toes soon too because I don't necessarily need to go and get all the scraping and tugging and everything they do because my feet are soft. I take care of myself and as feminine women you should take care of yourself too. Whether you're having somebody else do the service for you or you're taking your time to do it yourself. 
our feminine appearance matters. And even if you're in a relationship too, you're married, you don't want to lay beside your husband with rough, rough, crusty feet. I'm not saying that you want to be all together all the time and you have to be that way. But this is the way I see it. If you're married to a handsome man, he looks put together, you should even strive even more to make sure that you look put together. I refuse to go out the house and have my husband with a fresh cut, looking pristine, looking good, um, goatee lined up, and I'm going to go out here looking like, who? who's that? We're somebody up the street. I refuse. So that's another reason why I will always keep myself together because, and there's nothing wrong. When you're in a relationship, you should want to look good for your man in addition to looking good for yourself too, okay? So, Again, the feminine appearance, we should care about how we look. Take time to buy things for yourself that you might not have bought before. Right now, I'm working on my Hill collection because I used to be very much a girl that's just into sneakers only. I get Jordans, I get Nikes, I get all these other things, which I still like those things, but I'm starting to lean more on the side of getting things that are going to make me look more feminine, make me look more ladylike because I like the response I get when I do so. And I just like the way it makes me feel. Look, for goodness sake, if you are a woman in the world doing things, sometimes our life can get very heavy and we have to make sure that we're taking time to nurture that little girl in the inside of us because waiting for somebody else to do it, it might not ever happen. Hopefully you have a man in your life that's able to help you to be and lean more into that femininity. But even if you don't, you have to be able to nurture your own feminine side. And you do that by dressing in a certain way, giving attention to the things that are important to you, your well-being, your overall look. Look, start working on a hill collection like I'm working on. I was looking at some um, YSL or Yves Saint Laurent uh, shoes the other day. I was looking at Steve Madden. I mean, these things don't have to be just high end. It can just be nice girly things. Get you some stuff that's going to make you feel feminine and girly. Look at some cute sweater dresses or I can't wait for spring. Spring is my time where I get a lot of the spring dresses, the flowy dresses, the little ruffles. I absolutely love it. So our feminine appeal and our feminine appearance work hand in hand. We must take time to nurture the little girl inside of us while maintaining that confident queen energy. All right. Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. We must form a sisterhood of women, a demographic of women that love being women. We have to form a sisterhood of women that are okay being the girl. And that's what I strive to do here on this channel. And this is just the beginning of more things to come. So stay tuned because this is a whole movement, sweetie. All right. Like and subscribe and share this content. Take care.